Today we're going to go over a technique for extensor pollicis longus facilitation taping. In order to facilitate a muscle, you want to tape from proximal to distal. To measure your piece, you're going to measure from the ulna to the tip of the thumb with the wrist in neutral and the elbow in neutral. Then cut a small piece to create two short tails. Be sure to round the edges of your tape to ensure better adherence. Also be sure to cleanse the skin when moving any lotions or oils prior to tape application. Position the patient with thumb flexion, wrist flexion, and slight ulnar deviation before applying the tape. The proximal end of the tape is applied with no tension. Then apply the remainder of the tape with 15 to 35 percent tension until you get to the distal thumb area. The tails at the distal thumb will be applied with no tension just underneath the distal phalanx. Once complete, be sure to rub the tape vigorously to activate the adhesive. In review, the completed application of the Kinesio Tape Strip going from proximal to distal will provide facilitation to the extensor pollicis longus muscle. To inhibit the muscle, you would tape in the opposite direction from distal to proximal.